Good morning, Wolfpack. I'm Malin Moa. And I'm Jonah Mercado. Today is Tuesday, November 29th, and we are here with your morning announcements. Black Student Union is creating care, <coughs> care packages for the less fortunate this holiday season. Displayed on the screen are a variety of items requested. Donations are accepted in Ms. Corbin's classroom in the HB10. If you have any questions, text her Instagram at BSUCOHS. To December 15th, ASB is partnering with Men's Soccer and the Elk Grove Food Bank for a food drive to support our local community. They are accepting dry or canned foods, small cans, and ramen noodle packs. For any donations you make, you will be rewarded with IMCO tickets. Now to tap for this week's wins and sales. Catch up, and these are your wins and fails. First, I'm giving a fail to our generation Gen Z over the new doubloons trend that's been going on on TikTok. Doubloons are an imaginary currency with cats as the foundation of the economy, and you can earn doubloons by watching TikToks that say, here's four doubloons. It also uses the honor system since there's no way to actually track how many doubloons you have. But the main point here is that it's a huge inside joke going on on TikTok right now, and it's really dumb. It's basically like an NFT, but even more fake. I think the only reason this became popular was because it was Thanksgiving break and we were all really bored inside. Next, I wanted to give a win to Blake Lively after seeing the three pies she made for Thanksgiving. The first was chocolate, the second had sliced limes on top, and the third had garnished fruits and nuts on top. Ryan Reynolds is definitely a lucky man to have her as his wife. Yum yum. Finally, I failed a billionaire Jeff Bezos who doesn't care about his housekeepers. Jeff was just sued after not allowing his housekeepers bathroom access, and some of them reportedly got UTIs. The housekeeper said they literally had to climb out windows to get a toilet. This story is also surprising, surprisingly similar to when some Amazon workers were forced to use bottles instead of the bathroom, so they wouldn't slow down the flow work. Definitely a human rights violation from Jeff. Well, that's all you have this week, folks. Back to the anchors. Spicy news, Tad. ASB is looking for performances that have not been given the opportunity to shine. Please know that not all acts that sign up will be selected to perform, and all performances must be pre-approved with dance and accompanying music. If you are chosen to perform, you are agreeing to follow through with your commitment. So please only inquire if you're serious. Seniors, there is only two more applications for Workshops are in the College and Career Center and start at 8.30 in the morning. Speaking of college applications, UC and Cal State applications are due tomorrow, November 30th. Kaiser Permanente has announced the application window for their paid summer internship program for high school students. The internship provides an opportunity to gain hands-on experience in various non-medical careers, including finance, communications, hospital operations, and many more. You can apply from November 21st to December 23rd. Small day application workshop from 4.30 to 6 via Zoom. For the Zoom link and more information, please check your Synergy email. Later today, there will be a women's home basketball game at 5.30. Show up to support our women's first game of the season. Speaking of sports, there are two away games tonight for boys soccer at El Camino at 5 and girls soccer at Bradshaw at 6. Tune in tomorrow afternoon for me and Darren's coverage of our school sports and the FIFA World Cup. Well, that's all we have for you today, Wolfpack. I'm Malay Moa. And I'm Jonah Mercado. Remember, the strength of the pack is the wolf. And the strength of the wolf is the pack. Happy, Happy National, National Day, Day of, of Giving, giving Wolfpack. Wolf pack.